So morning, ladies and gents, or for those watching it during the evening, evening to you all. So I'm Dwayne, this is Rob, and this is this week's New Life News. Uh, if you just like to take out your iPads, your notepads and your pens and take some notes, um, we're here with the New Life News. Let's go. Throughout the month of February, we have a series on Love Express. Uh, if you would like to raise any questions about what the Bible says about love, then please, please fill out a Love Express card and hand it in to one of the post boxes around church. Thank you. So this is a notice for anyone that wants to make a big difference in church on a day-to-day -day basis. The church is looking for a part-time operations manager. Doesn't matter what your experience is or your background, just really needs to be organized, be passionate, be enthusiastic to make a big, big difference. So if this is of interest to you, please go and ask for more information at the office. And a key note, the key date is the application deadline closes on the 19th of February. Here at New Life, we believe in renewing our strength spiritually by reading God's word and praying to him continuously. We can also increase our health by increasing our fitness. And one way in which we do that at New Life is with our free fitness class. If you'd like to come and join it, it's on the 4th of February at 9 a.m. Uh, just sign up at the Resource Center to find out more information. After starting the year off with a week of prayer and fasting, um, we, we're moving into a new season and one way we're doing in this is by uh, having 150 intercessors for the church. We're all going to pray about the church and intercede for the church. Yeah, so this is a real massive, massive uh, notice for each and every one of us. So it's really calling everyone out to say, well, why don't sign up, go to the information desk and be part of that 150 intercessors so that all, all that's really required is half an hour for the whole week and in that half an hour slot it's just praying about the church and really supporting on our vision our range for this year it's going to be a massive massive year ahead and uh, the intercession is going to be a huge huge uh, bonus for us to to achieve what's ahead of us on the last monday of every month we pray for the persecuted church we pray for our brothers and sisters that they might see some healing and some breakthrough in their lives. If you'd like to come and join us, it's tomorrow from 7.30 p.m. Um, if you'd like to know any more details, then contact the general office. So this is a notice about the discipleship course. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be happening this Tuesday. However, it is back on the 7th, so come along to it. Now, as a quick reminder, it doesn't matter if you missed the first session or if you missed the last session or if you missed the middle session. This is open to anyone, it's a rolling course. So let's get along to it. Every Wednesday, we have an open church for prayer. This is from 10 to 4 p.m. You can drop in at any time and just come and seek the Lord. You can pray to him about any of your needs. Um, in Colossians 4, 2, it expresses to us to continuously seek God. And it would be a great chance on a Wednesday to come and seek him. If you're interested, then just drop in. If you pop over to the resource center, you'll be able to pick up the End from the Beginning Bible Plan, or the EFB. Um, as a church, we're following the Bible through from uh, Genesis to Revelation over the next 11 months. Um, so why don't you pop over and get one? Yeah, and it's a, another part of that is on the 6th of February, there's going to be uh, a public reading of it, and that's going to be on the book of Joseph. So it's the last 16 chapters of Genesis. So this will be a, a fantastic chance for everyone to get out. And, you know, you don't need to read aloud. You could just listen. But it really, really is a great opportunity for us to all all come together and be part of this um, part of the blessing that comes from reading the, the Bible aloud as well as throughout the whole year. So this is a, a notice for each and every one of us. So thank you for listening to this week's New Life News. As you can tell, there's a lot of things going on over the next forthcoming weeks and months. Um, so if you'd just like to join us in the back rooms for some fellowship and have a tea or coffee. Um, but also as a reminder, I'd just like to think... Um, would you like to take up a new commitment or possibly join us with more prayer 
Uh, there's plenty to do around the church. It would be fantastic if you could help us.